Hello. In this tutorial, we will be covering how to install and set up the Unreal Engine LiveLink plugin for versions 5.4 and 5.5. First, open your browser and head over to fab.com. This is Epic Games' new digital marketplace for assets, plugins, and tools that plug right into the Unreal Engine. Make sure you're signed in with your Epic Game account. If you don't have one yet, it only takes a few minutes to create one. Next, at the top in the search bar, type in Xsense Live Link to search for the Live Link plugin. You should see the plugin listed from Xsense. Go ahead and click the Add to My Library button. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and click My Library at the top of the screen, and you'll be able to access the plugin here. Once the plugin is in your library, go ahead and head over to the Epic Game Launcher. You may need to click the refresh button to see the new MVN Live Link plugin in your assets. Once you see it, go ahead and click Install to Engine. From here, the workflow returns to the way it was in previous versions. In your Unreal Engine project, navigate to Edit and then Plugins. In the search bar, type in Xsense Live Link and make sure that this is checked. If it isn't, Unreal Engine will want to restart. Once it restarts, the plugin will be active in your project. Make sure that MVN software is open and active. Here, you're going to want to open an MVN file or use the MVN suit for a live setup. Open the network streamer by going to Options, Network Streamer, or by clicking the Network Streamer icon in the toolbar. If there's no stream available yet, click Add below the Destination Configuration box. At a target destination, the default value host is 127.0.0.1, the port number default is 9763, and the protocol is UDP. Select a format that Unreal Live Link plugin will interpret properly. The position and orientation is quaternion. Also enable character metadata and scaling data. When running Unreal Engine 5 on another PC, input the IP address of that PC in the host field. If it's the same PC as where MVN Animate is running, you can just leave it as the default 127.0.0.1. In the project, go to Windows Virtual Production Live Link. In the Live Link panel, click the Source button, Xsense Live Source. Make sure that the port number is the same as set up in MVN, and then click OK. The Live Link will detect MVN Live as a source and show you the Live Link subject name the role, in this case animation, and the status, green for active, yellow for inactive. Next, we're going to want to import our rigged character into the project. If your character is not in a T-pose, you will need to do an extra step. Open the skeleton of your character and go to Create Asset, Create Animation, Current Pose to begin creating a new T-pose animation. Name the T-pose animation and place it in a folder of your choosing. In the animation timeline, pause the animation and then go to the start of the animation by clicking the To Front button. To view the bones on top of the character's mesh, go to Character, Bones, All Hierarchy. If required, adjust the bones of the character to represent a T-pose. Something to note is, if streaming finger data, the fingers, thumbs, and metacarpals will need to be straightened as well. If not streaming finger data, only the hands need to be straightened finger bones can be left alone. Please reference the following articles on our knowledge base, T-Pose of characters for live streaming and offline animation. Once the character is in a T-Pose and all bones have been selected, save the changes to the bones by clicking the plus key at the top of the UI. This will also key any bones lower in the hierarchy. Next, in the content browser, locate the skeleton of your character, right click to open the skeleton actions, and choose Xsense Create Remap Asset or Create Remap Asset in Folder. This will create a Remap Asset Blueprint. Open the Remap Asset that we just created, and in the Details panel, select the T-Pose animation that we just created. If your character is facing the Y axis, make sure to check this is Forward Y box. If you are using an Unreal, MetaHuman, Maya, or Xsense naming convention, you can choose one of these in the naming convention drop-down menu. This will automatically fill in all the correct bone names in the remapping assets. Once all segments are filled in, press Compile and Save. 
in the content browser, right click in the folder you want to create the animation blueprint and select animation, animation blueprint. Select the skeleton of your character for the specific skeleton, then click create. Name the blueprint and double click to open it. In the animation graph, left click and drag off the result pin of the output pose node. Let go and add the live link pose node. For the live link subject name, select one of the available subjects. This corresponds to your MVN system. Select the live link pose node just created and in the details window, select the retarget asset you just set up earlier. Now compile and save the animation blueprint and use this blueprint in your scene. Click and drag your character into your scene and on the right side in the details panel under animation, select the blueprint that we just created. Thank you everyone for stopping by to see this short video on how to set up the live link for Unreal. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at Movella.com. Thank you.